Sharky, how is it going with the bait? There you go. We can use the bait once or twice more. That was good. That was good. I really like that. Now, let's see how our tree is coming along. Very nice. Greetings, guys and girls, fellow gamers. My name is games for kicks and welcome back to Raft Survival. In the last episode, we got ourselves sorted out with a beautiful anchor and we found some ore underwater. Well, today, we're going to try to progress a little bit. We're always short of wood. So why don't we start a tree farm and see how that works out. So we have one plot that we can start with a tree farm and then hopefully that will grow into two, into three, and so on, and so on. And that way, hopefully, we're going to be able to finally give our raft some shape and start moving things and organizing them and start making it like a proper houseboat. And yes, as you suggested, we're going to try to build up. We have to go white at first for a little bit, and then we're going to start building up and do different levels and see how, how, how big we can build the raft over the next couple of episodes. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys are going to have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Now, I'm not sure if I want to start with a palm tree or mango tree, but for the sake of food, I think I'm going to start with a mango tree. Um, I'm also not sure exactly where I'm going to build these trees. Now, I probably want to build out here eventually as well, but I think for now, we just put it really anywhere. I'm going to put it right here. I think this is a good spot to start. Oh my balls, it is big. It is huge. But seeing that we can actually have it here, I'm not too worried if the shark will come and eat a board in one of our corners. Let me see. Let me, yeah, let me put it here. End of story. We can always move things around. I think the anchor might be a problem, but you know, if we have our house here somewhere, having the tree farm over here might actually not be a bad idea. Okay, so we might move it in as close as possible to the other side. So that way we don't get ourselves into trouble if we lose a board. So let's see. Yeah, let's put it here. There you go. Now, let's try a mango seed. We have one right here. Is it one or do we put multiple in? It's just one. Okay, let's see if we can put another one. I think it's just one, but let's just try and see if we can put another one in. Needs fresh water. Okay, so what we're going to do is I think we're going to pick up water. That's salt water. So we're going to have to wait for water to cook, which is here. We have fresh water. So water the crop. And I think that's it. That's all we need to do. There you go. Nice. And that will grow over time. And then hopefully the tree will give us both wood and mango. And then we're going to make another mango tree and another. Now, the problem I had in the past is that we just didn't get enough seeds per tree. So, you, I mean, you should always get at least one seed back so that you can reseed the tree. It doesn't make sense not to, from a game perspective, I think, from a progression perspective, because otherwise you're going to have all these empty tree plots and you could end up in a scenario where you can't sustain yourself. And I think the idea is to get to a point where you can completely sustain yourself. Also with the cooker and um, the soup and all that jazz. Yeah, so basically, if you make any of these recipes, yeah, they should be quite good for you, yeah? Now, what we did, we wasted some fish because we made some really bad soup because we didn't have the recipe. And I suppose this is kind of nice in a way that when you experiment and you don't have the recipes, that you fail, yeah? So we're going to have to build the grill, but in the moment, we're not going to build this because, um, well, we don't have enough resources. So we're not going to build the grill. What we're going to do instead is we're going to go up here and going to go back on the island here that we stopped or that I stopped after the last episode. And we're gonna get more wood and more coconut and more everything. I'm not gonna get any of the flowers yet because they take up, ooh, because they take up a lot of room. Oh, he's already done. They take up a lot of room, and um, in the in, in my storage, but they're not really worth it at the moment because I think they're just for dyeing and painting. Like we can find more in the long run. Come on! Oh, this was so, so tricky to get up here the first time. Oh, come on! Okay, we're gonna have to try it. There is a way of getting up here. I was up there earlier um, at some point. So let me just go here. There we go, yes. So we're gonna get some more wood because we're gonna have to make our boat bigger. We're gonna have to get more seeds. I actually, I need to get shark bait and I'm gonna have to go over there. I already picked up that uh, cache over here. That's why I said I was up here already. And that's it. I think that's all the trees now, is it? Will we get the flowers? But I don't know. Can we make more storage? Let me see. We have scrap. We can, we can make loads of these. So theoretically, I think 
Yeah, let's let's pick up the flowers. There's just nothing better than going for a lovely swim. Well, luckily we got some shark bait. Like, we're going for a lovely swim, have some shark bait out, and I was able to pick up a barrel or two over there, which was nice. Let's see if we can stab the shark in the ass as well while we're here. Hello, Sharky, how is it going with the bait? There you go. We can use the bait once or twice more. That was good, that was good. I really like that. Now, let's see how our tree's coming along. Very nice. I'm assuming you can pick the mangoes and leave the tree. I'm not really sure. But we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make more bait because we're going to have to go diving as well. So um we have our flowers sorted out. Everything is in here for our flowers. We um have the food sorted out for the moment. So there we go. And let's go diving as well, actually. Let's see what we can have. Can we have some more clams or something? Oh look at that. This is really good. I like that. Yeah, that's gone now, so we're gonna have an... Oh, wow, whoa, whoa, I forgot he doesn't go for the shark bait if I'm in the water. Holy crap. So I just found out that we actually have some research left, so I just learned flippers. That's my first diving equipment. It was actually just seaweed I had to do. So we need... Wow, this needs six seaweed and five goo. That's insane. That is insane. That's like a huge amount. That's like 11 seaweed we need. Oh, my balls. Okay. So we already have the goo, but another thing we made was a bottle. And I didn't realize that the bottle is also something that we can put in here to research. There we go. And now we can make an oxygen bottle. That is amazing. Now the next thing is glass. I don't know how to make glass. I'm assuming that glass is possibly sand in the forge. I mean, that, that's what would make sense. Yes. Okay, so that should make glass now. And then we can take the glass and research the rest. That's awesome. So we're actually progressing in our research. Now there's the goo. I was going to make a basic bow with the goo, but I think given the events now that flippers need goo, binoculars, oh, look at that. So glass is here, that's glass as well. That's advanced purifier. Oh, nice. Oh, that would be amazing. And then, oh, we learned all that. So we can actually learn everything else. Now, how do we make a circuit board? Because I think the circuit board is the only thing that left now. Copper ingots, vine goo. Oh, nice, we have all that. Did we make copper ingots already? We did. So why don't we take this guy here, let's place a plank. And once the glass is finished, we're going to place this guy in there. We're gonna take one plastic. Oh, we have no plastic. Oh my balls, we have zero plastic, guys. I think I actually completely emptied uh, the island already. Oh, balls. No, 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 no. There we go. Ah, balls. Yeah, we have no plastic, guys. We have a problem. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need to make a proper tree farm. We're gonna need to make a lot of things. So, I also just started a small little crop here so that hopefully we're gonna get seeds back again. The same problem I had before in the past is, yes, you have potatoes, you have uh, uh, whatever, these beetroots, but if they don't give you seeds every time you harvest, which theoretically should be, I mean, everything you harvest like that should have seeds inside. I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I'm not experienced with this type of thing, but I would assume, like, I mean, game mechanically wise, it would make sense that you can replenish as well as reap the benefits. It just makes sense. So let's see. And we also need at some stage all of the fruit here so that we can make fruit compost, which I'm assuming is going to be very healthy. So let's see. Glass. Nice. Okay. So glass is finished. Let's put the glass in here and research it. And now we have the advanced purifier and the binoculars. What are they good for? See further. Okay. That would make sense. And now all we have to do is the, oh, nice. The antenna used lo along with the receiver. Oh, nice. Oh, that is awesome. I can't wait to have these two done. Let's see, circuit board, yes. Okay, so let's go into here. Let's put that in here, very nice, I like it. Now, we do need plastic, which means we're going to have to leave the island. Okay, let's do it. Because there's literally, there might be, oh yes, there was a plastic piece. I think we got it. I think we got it. Do we have the one plastic? Yes, we do. Okay, so, oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Now, what do we need actually to make another crop lot, like a big one? Let me see, um, it's for food. A big one. We have nails. We can make a hinge, rope, and planks. Oh, yeah, okay. So we just have to go out. Oh, there's actually more seaweed. Is there more seaweed for us to pick up? Yes, 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 yes. 
Okay, we're gonna get bitten in the ass at least once, but that's okay. Come on, let's pick that up as well. Yes, and there's... Oh, there's another iron. Nice. Okay, now we have to go. Otherwise, we're gonna get bitten in the ass by the shark. There you go. Whew, that was close. I'm surprised he didn't come for us. I'm really surprised there. Okay, we got four more seaweed. That is awesome because we need six and we need loads of goo. Yeah, we're gonna need to find more islands. And I hope the antenna and the signal is gonna help us find islands. That would be really awesome because otherwise we're gonna always like wander around for ages without actually having a clue. So let's bring up the anchor, which is awesome. And look at that tree. Can we eat the mangoes already? No, we can't. Okay, and off we go, guys. Off we go, continue on our adventures. See you later, Sharky boy. I'm sure Shark will follow us. Oh, look at that. Harvest. Now let's see what we get. Okay. We got two raw beads. Two. And two. Nice. Exactly what I thought would happen. So we're going to put one here. And then we're going to put... One here. And we're gonna put one here and this is gonna be all raw beet and then we're gonna put one in for just potatoes that's gonna be awesome and then we're gonna have potatoes we have wheat a uh, wheat beet re beetroot and we're absolutely sorted that's perfect all right here's the circuit board and there we go we learned everything nice got an achievement called bookworm as well you go away harvest 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 beautiful i love it bam 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 Let's get some fresh water on this. Oh, baby. Oh, no, we didn't refill the fresh water. Oh, my balls. Okay, so the next thing we want to work on is, let's see, oh, is this growing? Is this finished? Is this completely grown? I don't know, I have no idea. Let's see. Okay, we got a leaf, we got mango, we got planks. Nice. We got a mango seed, nice. Oh, yes. Awesome. That is so cool because now we can Oh, yes, this is amazing. I love it. Oh, beautiful. We're actually getting sorted now, guys. And we got a little bit of wood. We didn't get too much, but we got a little bit of wood. Which means now we should be able to make another big crop plot. There we go. Nice. Bam. Excellent. These stupid things. There you go. Oh, look at that we got over there. That is awesome. Okay, we have some food here. Yeah, we're gonna take some now in a minute. And we need to be quick. Oh man, we need to go over there. Because that is where we have the barrels, yes. Okay, come on, let's go to the barrels. Beautiful, I'm missing my paddle, but that's okay. So what I was going to do, yes, water. Oh, there's so much to do. We need a water purifier, but first let's water the crops, then water the tree, come on. Then water the tree. There we go. Let's put planks down. And do we have another fish? No, we have to go a little bit more fishing as well for food. Actually, do you know what? What we're going to do with food is we're going to make these guys. There we go. Nice. And we should be able to make four of them. That should be absolutely fine. There you go. Beautiful. Put a plank down and off we go. This is going to give us good food now in a second. Oh, where is he? Wow. How does he bite in the middle of the boat? What the hell? I have not seen that before. Why would he do that? The middle of the boat. Is it because of the cooker? Is it he gets like turned on by the cooker? He hears it bubbling and he goes like, mm. and I went completely past my barrels. Oh man. Okay, we're gonna need to make a paddle guys. Otherwise this is not gonna work out. Okay, paddle, excellent, okay. Oh, okay, let's go down there. Here we go, here we go. Excellent, okay, so now we can let that go again. Whew, okay, beautiful. So, let's see what we got. Oh, we got some wood here. Let's not miss that if we can. Wood is very good. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Oh, that's our hook. Okay, we have to make a new hook. This time, we're gonna have to make a sturdy hook again. It's just, otherwise, it's not gonna be worth it. Okay, why can we not do this? What are we missing for a bolt? I think we have a bolt here, do we? Oh, no, we need iron, I think, to make a bolt. Yes, we do. Okay, beautiful. There we go. There's a good hook now. So we still have the same problem that we don't get enough seeds from all the trees. Not every tree gives you seeds, so we end up with... 
Well, less trees, that's the problem. So I don't know how self-sustainable we're gonna be with the tree farm. So anyway, for food, I started now making the second crop. So now we have plenty of... There you go. Now we have plenty of spuds and plenty of beetroot. That's what I was gonna say. So let's do this. There we go. And beautiful, nice. Oh, I love it. Now the water purifier, we should be getting very quickly as well, because this is the last piece of glass we have to make. And then let me see. Oh, lovely, lovely. We have just about enough for another load. Very nice. I like it. And then we're gonna have to worry about extending out here to, um, or out here to make a grill right here beside the other harvest oh look at that it's done it's done nice nice come on ah balls plant raw potato ah i don't know what i planted now probably just potatoes so let's put the beetroot here excellent yes it looks like it beautiful i love it now let's get some water we actually need water as well so we drink first because that is not on a timer the crop is not on a timer which is good and how much wood do we have seven we're always out of wood it doesn't matter what I do. So what we might actually have to end up doing is we extend it out here, build another tree farm, um, well, another couple of trees, and then build just palm trees beside it. So we're gonna extend out, build two more palm trees, and then hopefully between the mango and the palm tree, we're gonna get enough wood because this is ridiculous. The wood is just absolutely insane, the wood problem. I mean, this is not balanced enough. If you want to really encourage base building, like you need more wood. It's just, this is not enough wood. You get like four or five wood out of one. That's not enough. And then plastic. How do we make plastic? We can't make plastic. So that's another problem. If we can't make plastic, um, then we have to rely on RNG, which usually there is enough plastic out in the world. So what we probably have to end up doing is just get more nets, like get really, really around the whole raft, like a whole bunch of nets. So we can take out some floorboards in between and just start building nets. I think that would be the best thing. Like this whole side here could be all nets. Yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of work to do and there's a lot of grinding. We might actually stream this one episode because I think we need to do a lot of grinding. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming. So from this tree, we got no seeds and three planks in total. From this one, we get one plank, one mango, two planks and a seed. So we're out of seeds now. So the second tree, we have no seeds for it. So let's make sure we have water here. Excellent, let's do that. Forgot to put water on. Now, what we have here though, luckily, we have a palm tree seed. So let's see what a palm seed does, okay? If it gives us more wood or whatever. So from a mango, I mean, it makes sense. Mango is a mango tree. So maybe we shouldn't get as much wood from a mango tree. I mean, it makes absolutely sense. There you go. No, we actually don't need this. We need only drink. Oh, don't miss that, don't miss that. There we go, nice. Okay, so if we're gonna take that glass now, we should hopefully, okay, let's put that here for further cooking. Um, let's take all the glass out. Bada bing, bada bam. What do we need? What do we now need to make the purifier? We need more plastic. We need two more plastic. Okay, two more plastic. That's one more plastic. And there's another one over there. Excellent. That's two more plastic. And now we can make the advanced purifier. The advanced purifier should now give us more water, but where do we put it? Um, let's put it right here. End of story. I know we're very unorganized, but eventually we're going to get enough resources that we can rebuild all of these shenanigans. So advanced purifier, how does it work? I have no idea. Do we have to put water in it or does it generate water? I think it generates water. I'm not really sure. Advanced purifier can purify cups of water at once. Does not require fuel. Ooh, that's good. So we just basically put water into it? Yeah, nice. Okay. Oh, Sharky. No, 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 no. Oh, we're lucky there. We're lucky there. Oh, yes. Whew. Okay, we have to protect our nest. Oh, nice. Hello. Um, so let's see. Can we put another water uh, cup of water in? Place a cup of salt water. Nice. How many can we put in? 
three, four. Okay, five. That's it, five cups. That is amazing. Because then we can use the bottle that we get, that we can craft. And we can use um, the bottle then to fill this up and to drink out of. That is amazing. So yes, we have to craft another bottle, which is five plastic and four goo. Oh, my balls.